So amongst all the good things I've found recently using AI image generators, this right here is by far the best feature that I've gotten out of AI. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through Kittle's brand new AI generator 2.0. This thing right here generates high quality images using AI, whatever is happening in the background there with their AI sensei things, but my best takeaway of this video is going to be the fact that you can create vector images right in Kittle and also with perfect spelling text. Let me jump into it and show you how to do this. So maybe you don't know what Kittle is. This is Kittle right here. You can just hit the link down below and create a account, a subscription and join in on Kittle. It is a platform that helps you speed up your workflow as a graphic designer. You can use this here to create t-shirts, mugs, whatever you want to do, sell it print on demand. You can even alter these templates that they have in here and sell those designs on your own platform as clip arts or whatever. But this feature right here, right up top, you can see it is their 2.0 AI generator. And we're going to try this out. So just hit the try it button. So over here on the left side, you can see the AI Sensei box, box opened up. There's a prompt area here. So what I want to type in here, I'm just going to put something simple, right? Kiddo is best, the 2.0 is best with like long form, long form text or long form prompts, right? Before it was good with the short prompts. I'm just going to put a cartoon illustration featuring two hearts. One heart has a feminine feature with closed eyes and long eyelashes. Given an expression of gentle, loving expressions, the other heart character is more playful, cheerful demeanor, smiling with his tongue sticking out. Include the text, love is kind. All right, so that's there, so that's the prompt. And the next thing down here, you got these different styles, or you figure out what aspect ratio you want your image in. We're gonna leave it on the one by one right now. I'm gonna scroll down. And there's different styles that they give you, right? So I'm gonna come down to the style right here that says vector art, and we're gonna generate. So in this world of AI, I haven't really found a a graphic a AI generator that does vector, right? If you're using ChatGPT Dolly, you have to take that image in there out of there and take it into Illustrator and vector it yourself, right? But what Kiddo has here, because it's already a graphic design program, it has the the element of vectoring your design right in there, which just with a click of a button. So that's what I discovered, and I was like, wow, this might just change the whole game. Here it is. You get two vector artworks, vector images right here. You can tell that this vector is strictly black and white, and I know it's vector because I can change the color, right? The fact that I can change the color of this image of this artwork right now tells me that this is a vector file and it's totally transparent and everything like that. So let's regenerate another one. I'm just going to hit the generate button, keeping the prompts all the same. Here we go. We get another one here. Another vector right there. This right here is, is, is a game changer, y'all. I'm telling you, nobody else platform is giving you vector artworks like this. So if you want to take this to the next level, you can save this right now to your computer. I'm actually going to take that. I'm going to save this. I'm just going to change it here to love vector. And we're going to come to download. I'm going to optimize it. I'm going to remove the background. We'll make sure it's at 300 DPI. Change this to inches. We can leave it at that size. That's fine. And now I'm going to do a PDF. Download it as a PDF. So that's going to be on my computer. If I wanted to sell that design, I can literally do that without any issue. I'm going to also do it as a PNG as well. All right. So let's change the style up a bit. Let's use the vector is fine. Let's use a different style right here. Let's go to the clip art style. Let's create a cartoon image. We're using the same prompt and we're going to generate. 
So you see that it can do vector with no problem. And we're going to do the text here. So here goes the same prompt in another, in another form, like another style. This is the, the, the cartoon style, right? So it comes in in a cartoon style, same font. I mean, same, same prompt, just in cartoon right now. So I changed it up and said, include the words, love is kind. Here it is. So now we got the text right here in a banner style. Love is kind, right? All the spellings are accurate. Look at that. Love is kind. Spelling is fine. Everything is good here. This is a graphic that you can literally save and download. Let's, I'm going to regenerate this in another style. Let's go with a mascot, right? We're going to do a mascot style. I'm going to leave everything the same. I just want to see if it's consistently going to give me the text. Meanwhile, I'll wait. I'm just going to remove the background from this image here. This is an image that I could use as well. There it is. The AI background remover works great. We will expand this. And I'm just going to download this real quick before the other one comes up. Here it is. So consistently, we got the text over here. This is in a different style. I ended up going with the clip art style that says T-shirt graphic. This is a good T-shirt graphic right here. Love is kind. This is dope. Let me know what you think in the comments, man. Let me know in the comments. Does Kiddo earn the right for you to subscribe? Like, are you going to be using this? How are you going to be using it? Because this is dope right here. Love is kind. Simple, dope graphic right here. I'm going to remove the background from this one here and see if it keeps the blue. So it keeps the blue there. This is dope. This is dope. We're going to take it one step further. I'm going to actually mock this up on a T-shirt right in here on Kittle. Big enough. There it is. Love is kind. Boom. Put that on your store and somebody's going to buy that. This is a game changer, Kittle. Good job on this one here. Of course, I'm going to download this. I'm just going to say Love is kind 3 because I'm not sure how many of these I've already downloaded. But I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Let's take the same one here. We're going to give it a vector. Let's see if we can get a vector with this. So we got all the different vector styles. They got vector art. They got drawing. They got cartoon vector. They have silhouette. Let's see what the drawing, the drawing vector is going to be. I'm just going to hit the drawing vector there. and We're going to vector this artwork. I'll see what we get from that one. Yep, so we got the love is kind. This is the drawing one here. So you know there's a lot of shading in this one. I'm not sure if that's something you can really use, but it might be something you can use there. I, I won't really do nothing with this. I'm going to go here and use the cartoon vector. Oh, there it is. So I guess we did it too many times now. It says request blocked. You have reached your hourly limit for AI generation. Please wait before you can try again. Well, so to close this up, right, you can see Kittle now has the ability to generate your artwork for you using the AI 2.0. It gives you vector styles, gives you a whole bunch of other styles, and it also give you text, right? You see how we tested all of that. Let me know how you're going to be testing this, and are you going to subscribe to Kittle? If you do, there's a link down below to join Kittle. I appreciate you sharing this video with someone else.